Let's see. Meanwhile, this. Yep, uh, the homecoming king and queen are dead. Long live the gender-neutral royals. The University of Minnesota scrapping the traditional titles in their, home, in their homecoming court in the name of inclusivity. Royal is a nice way to kind of sum up exactly what we're looking for. It can be 10 boys, 10 girls, 10 non-binary students, 10 transgender students. Any combination can work. Really? Is this a step in the right direction, or has PC nonsense completely taken over here? Well, let's talk to some. Uh, Sterling Beard is his name. The editor-in-chief for CampusReform.org joins us today from our D.C. Bureau. Sterling, what's going on out there at the University of Minnesota? Well, it's as you said, they've replaced their homecoming uh, king and queen with the generic gender-neutral term royals. Of course, this is a move towards inclusivity. It's a move to make people feel better about themselves. But this is silliness. There's no reason to toss out the tradition of homecoming king and queen because there's no lasting harm that comes from it. For example, for all of you viewers at home, quick, name the homecoming king from your college your sophomore year. Uh, you can't point. do it. Uh, it's impossible. Right. Nobody remembers this stuff a year on, let alone five or ten years on. So Unless you were the homecoming king, Brian. Right, yeah. I don't even know if we even had it, but we I don't <laughs> think we would have gone for the non-binary exactly. inclusive know 10, top 10. So what is the point? Not to hurt people's feelings? Well, the point is inclusivity, and that means that you can't be shut out because, you know, you weren't one of the five or five women or five women who were originally selected. But can you imagine the amount of belly aching that will resume, regardless of what that student said earlier, if, say, there's a number, uh, a higher number of men on the co uh, homecoming court than women. Then it's back to the patriarchy. There will be nobody that is ultimately satisfied by this move. I mean, we've seen this co sort of thing a lot over the last fall at the Leadership Institute's campus reform. It's not just the University of Minnesota. The University of Wisconsin Stout uh, will be uh, is giving out now spirit awards, and Appalachian State will, has committed regicide. They won't commit uh, have a homecoming king and queen either. They're going to crown the top of the rock. <laughs> so this is something that is beginning to become a bit of a trend. What do the students on campus think, the majority of the students think? Well, it's a little unclear since they've just announced it over the, uh, you know, fairly recently. But we'll see what happens. Like I said, I predict that if there is an imbalance between men and women or if the court is not inclusive enough, if there's not enough uh, non-binary or somebody from the LGBTQ rainbow, what have you, I predict that you will see a lot of belly aching from more liberal students on campus over the issue. Seems like people are belly aching just generally anyway these days, aren't they? Well, exactly. That's why you have this whole uh, move away from, you know, homecoming king and queen. It's too gender normative, what have you. Look, like I said, there's no lasting harm from this. This is all about making the people who want to make the change feel better about themselves because they are pushing for that inclusivity. All right. Sterling, thank you very much for joining us from Campus Thanks, Reform. Sterling. My pleasure. Thank uh, you. All right.